Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Papa Bell. We're doing a time lapse video of me uh, getting the coils basically facing on the right direction so that the voltage is the max from one side to the next. Uh, I've got three cores in this setup. I don't think I'm going to be able to run cores. I was just doing it for fun. I got lots of voltage, but uh, the fact that they're magnetic cores really slows everything down and it stalls out without power. Um, it all eventually will stall out. I'm not trying to say anything other than with the cores in it stops a lot faster. And I don't believe that the energy that I do have in the capacitor is utilized appropriately. Um, we also have, well that's basically what I'm doing is making sure that from the coil with the core next to the drive coil, which is the red coil, so the one to the right of that, all the way around 11 coils to the one to the left of that, is the, every coil that I add, the voltage keeps going up. That's what's important. Because I was running it and it was like making 14 volts and I'm like, there's there's 11 coils here. How how could I only be making 14 volts of electricity? It didn't matter what kind of electricity, DC, AC, it's all the same because I wasn't making enough of it. Now, what I have here also is a hybrid. You can run it and you can run it and it'll run longer with just your finger. Or you can spin it with the motor, the electricity. Uh, use a drive coil and the power supply to make it move. But you can also make it move like that and then turn it off. And the way that I have it hooked up right now, there's no switch, but there's a blocking diode preventing the energy from going back into the capacitor and it's hooked directly into that drive coil as well so all the energy that flows through the circuit of all 11 coils gets dumped into this capacitor and then from the capacitor it goes into the drive coil so all these 11 are actually you know making it move longer than it would without them as far as I'm concerned Maybe not very much longer because the capacitor is limited. But if we spend less, uh, I'm looking for a good way to time the coil in the middle with the coils on the outside. I haven't been successful yet. If I can get one magnet towards the shaft, then it would only trigger one time. You get all the benefit from having all 12 magnets on there. I think that would be awesome. Then you spend only once a rotation. That's great. Um, but I ended up getting close to 250 volts of AC electricity uh, from running the motor at 25 volts. That's pretty good for just having three cores. I mean, it's not great, but all the other coils help a little bit, but not a lot. They're very weak compared to the ones with cores in them. But, you know, I don't need all the energy, all the electricity that the cores generate, the coils with the cores generate. It's just fun to see it go up like that every once in a while. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> so yeah, from beginning to end it's about 250 volts gets dumped into the capacitor when it's going really, really fast. It's still not enough. Uh, there's no current, not enough current to make it jolt 
You know how like when a magnet passes the drive coil, it'll jolt a little bit if it's not at capacity speed, if it's not at its velocity. Uh, yeah, so I need some of the current to make it to the other side, and then we'll be good. So I'm going to change it all to one millimeter coil, maybe a bifiler with a one millimeter and a 14 gauge. Awesome. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Have a good night. Thank you.